If you want to know how to record a video and then share it with your students, one of the easiest ways to do it is to use QuickTime plus Microsoft Stream. This is how it works. First, you want to open QuickTime. You can hit Command Spacebar on your computer and start typing QuickTime, or you can find it in your applications. It looks like this. Next, you want to go to File, New Movie Recording. This will open up your webcam and you can see as you're speaking you can see your voice bouncing and you can adjust your physical position to get a better recording i often recommend to people to try to record in a closet if they can because you do get the best audio but that's up to you uh, when you're ready to record you hit the record button and then when you're ready to stop recording you hit stop if you want to make some adjustments to the beginning or end you can go to edit trim and adjust the video. Once you hit trim, it's going to make a new copy of the video and then you need to save it. Please make sure that you save it. The next thing you want to do is go to Microsoft Stream. Stream is located in your application launcher. It's called Stream and it should be on this page. If you don't see it, just click All Apps and you should be able to find it. Open up Stream. When you're in Stream, you want to click Create to upload a video. Browse, choose the newest video that you just made and let it upload. You can give it a name and if you want to get really creative, you can give it hashtags like hashtag fake video or hashtag science or hashtag whatever the name of your unit is. And you can actually search by these hashtags later. It really depends on how many videos you're going to make. You can leave all this alone. The permissions currently are open, so anyone at Episcopal High School can watch the videos. There are no private video options. Any teacher or student can watch a video. When the video is processed, you can then share it. You actually at this point can hit share and copy this so that you have the link and you just need to wait for the processing to be done and then you hit publish. Nothing is happening um, right now to stop the video. It is processing on the back end. I published it and I have the sharing link. I can't watch the video yet. It says it's processing, but once it's done processing, then everyone can see it. This means that you can actually upload two or three videos at the same time. Once the video starts processing, you're free to start doing another video and another one and another one. So don't worry about canceling anything out. If you've been recording meetings and you go to My Content Meetings, you can see all the meetings you've recorded and if you want to delete one, you can click here and delete the video. Also, you can do some basic editing and you can download videos here as well.